So today, Milestone have announced MotoGP 24, and to be honest, I was caught a little bit off guard by it. I was expecting it to come out, well, the announcement to come out probably next month sometime, but it has come out today. And today, I'm going to be going through the trailer, breaking it down, and then going onto their website and having a look at the press release. I'll leave links to all that in the, in the description below, so if you want to watch the trailer without me talking over it, or if you want to read the press release yourself, feel free to go and have a look. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So a good bit of real life footage as they tend to go you with. Think you know all the tracks, but you don't. Oh, Miller's down. And you have friendly bonds, but then the lights go out. When you think you're the first, but it's not over yet. When you Martin know versus Banyaya. Has rules, but rules are meant to be broken. Oh, rider transfers. The, the riders are in different teams. Okay, that's pretty interesting. As always, got to show a bit of Mugello. They always love a good bit of that, don't they? Bit of wet weather, Masano. In MotoGP 24. There we go, then. So I guess that's a big part of this trailer. Oh, and it's actually coming out then the 2nd of May, by the looks of it. It seems to be backwards, the date, because obviously it's not the 5th of February. Uh, it was an American guy speaking on the trailer, so I guess maybe this is an American trailer that I clicked on by accident. But there you go, then. Not much shown off there. Looked obviously very, very similar to... MotoGP 23, so to be honest, there's not really a lot to go into with this trailer. Obviously, a lot of real-life footage, so I don't want to scrub through that too much. Obviously, we've got Portimao, Miller goes to the Shadow Realm there. We've got the Moto3 title fight. That's an interesting one to, to include, because I don't think... Yeah, it said, like, friendly, like, camaraderie or something. I'm pretty sure Sasaki wasn't very happy after that one. But, yeah, pretty much the most in interesting thing, then, is the fact that the riders all sort of changed teams in this little shot here. I actually am interested to see how it will work because you can see they've they've noted specific riders that use Alpine Stars or Dionysi for, for this screenshot. So you can see, obviously, we've got Martin, we've got Quattararo, Rins. You can see all the riders. You can see who they are. But you can see they're either a Dionysi rider or an Alpine Stars rider. So I'm interested to see how it works with the riders that use other leather brands. Didn't realise, actually, that's how many of the paddock or of the MotoGP class used either of those two brands. They definitely seem... A bit dominant. Is it pretty much just Augusto Fernandez and Oliveira Nakagami missing? I think. I think they're like the only three that are not there. Could could be missing somebody else as well. But yeah, that's uh, that's certainly an interesting one. A feature I didn't think we'd get to be honest. I didn't think we'd be able to do it. But obviously, Code Masters managed to do it a few years ago with the F1 game, and it seems like this year we're getting it with the MotoGP game as well. So hopping over to Milestone's website, then you can see the, the news here: 14th of March, 2022, MotoGP 24 announcement. See Banyaya going round whatever turn that is at Valencia, it's the one at the end of the back straight. It only happens in MotoGP 24. The countdown has started. MotoGP 24 will be available on May 2nd. Get ready for the most authentic MotoGP experience ever. The most dynamic career mode ever made in a MotoGP game, MotoGP 24 takes you into the heart of real competition with the introduction of the Riders Market, enabling you to switch teams and experience the thrill of a brand new roster each season. Well, you actually could already change teams, but I guess they mean the AI in that in, in that situation. As you aim for victories and championships, the excitement intensifies as you navigate the challenge of securing a coveted new seat or defending your current one. Thus, MotoGP Stewart is stepping up the game with stricter enforcement of trap behaviour, which can be penalised for both the player and the AI. Okay, that's cool. To be honest, I'm more excited about that than the rider transfers, because the rider transfers, you could do it on mods anyway. I guess for console players, it's a pretty big thing, but obviously on the PC side, you could already do it with mods. But actually having players for the AI, I... I'm happy to hear that because I've been saying this for years, AI need penalties. So that'll be interesting to see how that actually is sort of implemented. Be mindful as infractions will incur penalties ranging from simple warnings for light infractions to more severe measures like the long lap, time penalties, let pass or cancel qualifying time. So obviously cancel qualifying time, you used to get that anyway. Obviously your lap time gets invalidated. Time penalties, that's something they had in the previous games, but... I think uh, I think you only really get it online in, in the more recent ones. Ever since they added the long lap, you don't really get time penalties in uh, single player. But let's pass. That's an interesting one. No season will be the same as the previous one, so be ready for new challenges. So gear up for the competition. Your time is now. Whether you're a first-time racer or a seasoned veteran, don't worry. With the new adaptive difficulty, the game will adjust itself accordingly after collecting data from your performance, giving you a tailored experience. Now, I feel like that was something they already had. In the previous game, they had that adaptive sort of riding, didn't they? I mean, I don't know how good it was. I never used it. The regular physics weren't very good, so <laughs> I can't imagine they were that great. But uh, it's, uh, it sounds like a very similar thing to that. 
and Race Revolution, AI and Physics. The AI has been refined to mirror the real riders. Rookies will be fiery as they need to prove themselves, while veterans will be more strategic. As for the physics, a new electronic tuning system has been designed for better corner control on entry and exit phases, improving power delivery. There's also refined tyre management improved to ensure the usability of all tyre compounds on various tracks whilst maintaining a distinct feel for each tyre type. That's good to hear because the amount of times, if you've watched my videos guys, the amount of times I've complained about the soft tyre being a completely unusable tyre, you may as well not have it in the game because it overheats way too easily. In MotoGP 23 especially, the, the front tyre, if you don't have a hard, if you don't have the hardest compound you could pick on, on MotoGP 23, you may as well not bother because the front tyre will overheat, you can't stop, you can't turn, and that's it, game over. And the rear tyre actually isn't too bad in this game, but in previous games as well, it, it was a case where you couldn't use anything too soft. So it's good to hear that you actually can use the soft tyres because they use them in real life. You know, they, they really do. And you couldn't even really do a qualifying lap even sometimes. Like you couldn't do an entire qualifying lap without a tyre going off. So that is good to hear. A new online championship begins. Climb the championship leaderboard by scoring points with the live GP championships. A new multiplayer mode concede for the most competitive online races. Every month there will be a small championship consisting of several races with its dedicated ranking for you to climb to claim first place. Regarding the online, start from day one crossplay with two asterisks. So I imagine that's Steam and uh, Nintendo Switch that would be included in that one. Will allow you to hit the track and complete regardless of the platform or console generation. If you're up for a challenge with your buddy on PlayStation, Xbox or PC, the local split screen is exactly what you need. So there is a uh, there is actually split screen, which I thought they already had, but I, I guess they didn't. Fair enough. Racing speed and style. Unleash your imagination thanks to four powerful editors for helmets, stickers, racing numbers and book patches and share your online creation between platforms. So again, that's obviously like the exact same. I don't know why they like go on about that every year because it's been the same since like MotoGP 19 and then again just MotoGP 24 will be available on May the 2nd on all of the platforms there so you can see PS5, PS4, the two Xboxes, Nintendo Switch and Steam and yes Live GP is not currently available on Nintendo Switch. Yeah I actually didn't know that but fair enough. Live GP was not available on most of the platforms for the, the first couple of days this year as well. Didn't really work. Uh, Crossplay Available between PlayStation and Xbox uh, consoles and not available on PC and Nintendo Switch, exactly what I said. And Share Online, not available on Nintendo Switch versions. So I don't know whether... I, I guess that kind of encapsulates this, the second point with the, the Steam thing. I imagine you can't share our stuff with uh, Xbox and PlayStation people. I don't know why. I, I have no idea why we, it's always like this. Because I'm fairly certain that like every other gaming company has figured this out at this point. And Milestone, the only ones that just haven't, which is such a shame. And then here we go, you can just go down, follow them or buy it. Again, United States was the default. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it might be or something. But I think that's about all we've got. Um, I will have a little dig around, see if there's anything else. But that's everything I could see on the site. So I actually did manage to find another page here. You can see it is the, this is the kind of page I expected with sort of the pictures with the text, but it is just all the same information. So I'm not going to bother reading through it. I probably picked the more bland one to look at for the video, so I do apologise. But I just clicked news and went to the news straight away, whereas it actually was on the main homepage, this one here. But yeah, you can see it just is the, the same text pretty much, just with some pictures. You've got Marquez, or Alex Marquez doing the uh, the long lap. Well, actually, he's not redoing really the long lap at Catalonia, is he? Because he's, he's not gone in there. You can see at the angle he's at, he's definitely cut across that green. You've got Bastianini got the inside of... Uh, of me they look a bit more natural on the bike there you know in, in that image so that'll be worth sort of keeping an eye on that does look a little bit better and we've got obviously the, uh, the guy in the forward racing we've got marquez versus banyaya here with the, the multiplayer page so yeah just all the same information just along with some pictures which is always uh always nice to look at so yeah i picked the more boring page but i, I guess it kind of is what it is to be fair but yeah i guess that's pretty much it guys so usually these videos do go on a little bit longer but we just haven't got that much information this time again not sure whether that's a good good or a bad thing but I guess we will find out. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to get MotoGP24? And are you looking forward to MotoGP24? I am a little bit more now with this penalty thing and the rider transfers. It's pretty cool because even though, yeah, like I said, you could do it with mods previously, it's effort to do that. It takes a long time. So it'd be good to see how it actually works in the game as well, whether it'll be, whether the transfers will be wacky and also how it relates to performance. I know obviously MotoGP23, the, the bike performance could change from year to year. So 
that obviously tying in with that. Definitely a bit more of an F1 game style, and I, I like that, because the F1 game career mode is very good. I've been saying for years, really, they should be taking things from that and trying to implement themselves, and it seems like that potentially could be the case. So there you go, then. That is MotoGP 24, 2nd of May, so keep your eyes out for it. Again, like I said, let me know if you are looking forward to it. If you are new to the channel, please do like the video and subscribe, because there'll be plenty more MotoGP 24 sort of game content, obviously, when the game comes out, but also news when it, when it comes out. I always do this every year, covering the news, and then obviously playing the game when it comes out, making mods for the game, things like that. So if the MotoGP game interests you, this is certainly the place to be. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you're so safe and I shall see you in the next one.